Hello, my name is Linda. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator, and today I'm making um, a card, and I'm using the Best Catch stamp set, and this comes with framelits as well. But um, although this does initially look like a, um, a stamp set for a man, I'm actually making a card that you could use for a woman. So um, I'm actually not using the any of the stamps. I'm just using the framelits from this one and I am using some stamps from the Artisan Textures. I'm using this one and this one and this one, so these three. If you've got any other sort of texture stamp sets, that's going to be fine. I'm going to be using some vellum today. I have some pool party, which I have cut as um, like a long DL size card, so it's 20 centimeters across. So an A4 sheet, cut 20 centimeters, and then score at 10, and that's going to be our base. I'm going to have it round this way today. And I have a piece of Whisper White that's going to go on top of there, and I have another piece of Whisper White that's going to go inside for writing on. And I also have. Um, another small piece of whisper white here which I've already put some um, multi-purpose adhesive sheet on the back so that's going to be sticky when we pull it off I'm going to be using I'm using quite a lot of dyes today and let's get them in for you I'm using the well written framelit dyes and from that I'm going to be using the happy birthday happy got that upside down happy birthday and as I said, I'm using the little framelits from the um, Catch of the Day. So this is the Catch of the Day bundle. Um, and I'm using these two fish here. I'm also using some little dies. And th these are little um, sea urchins. And I've cut those from, I think it was Under the Sea. So they come from the Under the Sea framelits. And then the last die I'm using is this stitched one and they come from the stitched label framelits but you don't if you don't have all of these sets it doesn't really matter you might have um, something similar that you can use like little stars perhaps that you could use um, a different different word in so the stitch die that I'm using I'm going to have that along one side of my card but if you do not have a stitch die you could probably do this um, this technique just with a pen not a pen a pin of <laughs> a pin so let me let me start so there's quite a bit of um, quite a bit of work to do before we can start putting the card together and I have my piece of vellum and I also have my piece of little whisper white cardstock here with the sticky on the back I'm going to start with this one and all I'm going to be doing I've got some of my um, my blends here which I absolutely love and I'm going to I'm using the um, the pool party, the light and dark pool party, and I'm using the light Bermuda Bay. I'm starting with the lightest colour, and I'm just going along here, a little bit scribble, 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 and I'm doing the same here. Looks like I'm running out of ink on this one. Then I'm going to come in with the dark pool party, and as you can see, I'm just doing like stripes really just some stripes and then I've got my Bermuda Bay at the top and then I'm just going to blend them in a little bit so I'm using my light my lightest pool party to blend in my light and dark pool party and then I'm using my dark pool party to blend in my um, dark pool party and Bermuda Bay, light Bermuda Bay. So I'm just getting a just a little bit of a colour on there. And then what I'm going to do, perhaps I should come in a tiny bit so you can see. And then I'm going to be cutting out my happy birthday. Just like this, so happy birthday. And then your happy birthdays will have a little bit of um colour in them. I've actually already cut them out. I've already I've done it before, cut them out already. And that's basically what they're going to look like. Okay. So I'm going to put those to one side and we're going to get on with our piece of vellum. This has got a bit more work involved. I'm going to just bring in my piercing mat 
just so you can see what I'm doing so it's just a little bit darker and I'm going to get my embossing buddy and I'm going to go all over my um, vellum with my embossing buddy because we're going to do a bit of heat embossing and then I'm going to be bringing in all of my um, artisan texture stamps and my versa mark ink and I'm just going to randomly ink this up and stamp over my vellum so I, re I really am doing this randomly and you know what you need to leave um, some gaps as well so you don't want them all next to each other I want some little gaps in between and then you'll see why when I'm got a little bit further along keep pushing that one too hard okay now I'm going to get my embossing powder in move some make a bit of space so I have the gold this is stamping up embossing powder I always stick it in a little Tupperware pot getting a bit short with a little um, cow pole spoon I have there well, they don't do spoons now, do they? They have the they have the little um, syringes. So I'm just going to cover my vellum with the gold embossing powder. So I put my powder on there, and if you can see on a couple of these um, these images, I have pushed too hard. Can you see that line? That is where I've pushed my stamp too hard and I've got some of the um, edge of the stamp on there and because this is embossing powder you can just wipe that off with a brush and then you can't see that anymore and that, you do that before you heat emboss so now I'm going to heat emboss my gold so I finished heat embossing my vellum there I think hopefully you can see that so it's all nice and gold and now I'm going to be using um, Pool Party and uh, Bermuda Bay so um, obviously once you see what I'm doing you can use any colours you want for this it's just that I these are my favourite colours I love blues and greens and I'm just going to be bringing in the stamps that I used earlier and I'm just going to randomly stamp over my vellum again you want to leave some gaps so I've also brought in um, from the Sea of Textures this this um, stamp here which is sort of like a fish skin and I'm going to use that as well and again you know if you do not have these stamp sets it just doesn't matter whatever you've got we're just actually just trying to make a bit of pattern in the uh, in the background and then we are going to um, cut our little fish out okay so basically that's what we're doing um, you can just put your heat tool over that to dry it off a bit or you can or you can wait for it to dry it well, it takes a little bit longer than normal paper to dry the vellum you can still see it's quite shiny and that's why it's better to do your heat embossing before you do your inking because if you if you did all your stamping you'd have to wait for it to be completely dry before you could then do your heat embossing because otherwise your embossing powder would just stick to your ink okay so I'm going to put that to one side and I've just got a, I've got one that I did earlier here we go and if you can see this and then I, I actually use different colors I've used pool party and um, silver for this one um, and I've cut all these fish out and that's basically what you want to do you want to cut out loads of your little fish with your framelits okay so the next one we're going to do is with one of our pieces of whisper white this is cut at nine and a half by twenty and a half centimeters and this is going to go on the top of our cardstock and I have this little stitched die that we were talking about earlier and on one side and actually on the back already I've put some tear and tape so that is ready to go and on one side I want my stitched line to be about an inch away from the edge and so I'm going to come from the top and I've got a little bit of um, painters tape on there and I'm just going to lay that down like so and stick that down painters tapes going dry 
and then I'm going to run this through my Big Shot. Okay, so I've run this um, through my Big Shot, and actually it's about two centimetres, not an inch, about two centimetres from the edge I've done it. And then I actually want it to come down a little bit further. So what I want to do to make it a little bit longer is to line up my stitch, my stitches from the die into the holes that I've already made. And it is, it's a tiny bit fiddly, but once you get it right, it all sort of slots in nicely. And then I'm going to lay this down onto my, um, this, is, this, this is my Big Shot plate. And then I don't want it to go all the way up there again, just in case I've not got them in exactly the correct places. So then I'm going to lay my plate on like this, so it will only cut there. So I'm going to put that back through my Big Shot. Okay, so now I have got um, a longer line that's coming a little bit. So you can see, it's not it's not perfect, but actually it doesn't really matter because it is going to be a little bit hidden. Okay, so now I have my piece of cardstock here with all my stitching down. I'm go I have pulled in some gold thread, and you can also get this in um, silver, copper, and black. I'm using gold today, and I have the gold sequin trim here. And what I've done, if I bring my little block in here, I have just pulled some of these little tiny sequins off. They come off quite easily and I'm, I'm putting them all together. I'm going to be using those. So let's move those to one side. I have my um, my little fish here that I've cut out. Now these ones are a different colour because um, I did one of the I did one of these vellums yesterday, and I used different colours. So I've used um, the pool party and the knight of navy with the gold embossing because I wanted it. I wanted to use it straight away. And of course, it takes a little while to dry. And then I have a needle. And what I've done, I've put my gold thread into a needle and I've tied um, a knot if I can show you my knot I've tied a knot quite hard to show you there you go I've tied a knot at the end there and I did about I tied that about four it's about four knots on top of each other just to hold and then what we're going to do I'm going to start at the bottom of my card and I've come up about five stitches and I'm going to push my needle in there. Let's see if I can come in a bit closer. Okay, so I'm just pushing my needle through one of the stitches and pulling it. And there's the knot at the back. I'm going to grab one of my little fish and put my needle through his eye. A bit cruel, I know. And then he's going to be at the bottom there. Then I'm going to grab one of my sequins. Put well, put my sequin through my needle there so that's going to come down and that is going to look like my fish eye and then I'm going to come back through my fish my fish's eye but not back through my sequin through my fish's eye and through the hole that we came through before and I'm going to come all the way through with my needle And you want to work quite slowly and carefully with this thread because um, it's not the same as cotton and it does twist up quickly. I have actually run my embossing powder over it. That makes it a little bit easier to work with. And then I'm going to come back out a couple of stitches up. So keep your eye on that thread at the back. There you go. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put um, another fish on, so perhaps I'll do a big one this time, and then the sequin, and the sequin trim comes in silver as well, um, and I've made a card with silver instead of the gold, which I can, if you go to my post you'll be able to see that there, and then again come through my fish's eye and back 
through the hole and where the sequin where you have your sequin that keeps your fish in place okay so I have finished you see all my little fish hanging here I'd say that probably took me about 15 minutes to do you um, you wouldn't have to do all of this you could just have a couple at the top you wouldn't have to do them all down the bottom but I've um, gone a little bit over the top of this and then on the back when you finish um, when you get you've done this is where I started um, with my knot here and I finished here and had to re-thread a tiny bit more because I'd run out and what I'm going to do just over the knots is I'm just going to put a tiny piece of tear and tape just to hold them hold them down hold them still make sure they don't come undone you might want your card falling apart okay and I'm not actually going to take the backing off of that tape I'm just going to leave that like that okay and so now I'm going to be bringing in my um my happy birthday that we made earlier and I'm going to have my birthday down the bottom here so let's come in a bit and because this is um, it's sticky already because I put the um, adhesive sheet on the back and what's great about this don't stick it very if you don't push it very hard you can move it around until you're happy so I want my Y's to be level okay I'm just going to push that down now as I'm happy with it okay okay so I'm happy with my happy birthday and I've actually stuck a couple of my starfish that I cut out earlier and I'm also going to be using if I can find them so I'm also going to be using some of these little um, sequins so these are the um, they're from the butterfly gala suite and some of them are flowers and some of them are just normal sequins and we're using the clear ones I'm just going to randomly put them around I'm going to tuck some under the fish as well because they will move around a bit and then I've got some of these green ones and these are from um, I think they're just the basic self adhesive sequins come in various colours and I'm going for this green one because I quite like it and again I'm just doing that randomly and now I'm going to be pulling in my pool party oh, I'll go the other way base and I'm going to put this onto here like that and as I said earlier I've already put some tear and tape on the back so if you put tear and tape on um, four sides so you can then take off the corners and fold it over like that so you've got the sticky on that corner sticky on this corner And then you're sticky on these two corners. Let's get this straight. And these two are not sticky. So you can lay down the not sticky corners, line it up where you want it. And then when you're happy, you can push down those sticky corners. And then pull the tape off. And if you're, you know, if you tend to get your card wonky, that's a good technique. Sorry, I've come off, I've come off there. Can't seem to get my camera to zoom out today. And then we're going to put something in the middle. So my, I have my piece of whisper white. Here it is. So I'll put that to one side. And I'm just going to decorate this a tiny bit. I have. Um, I've cut out some little of uh, some little fish in um this is in Bermuda Bay and I've made them sticky. And I'm just gonna put some glue on the back of this. I have that little fish towel hanging off the edge there and that was deliberate because I decided I liked the look of it. 
you could also stamp a sentiment in here if you wanted to I'm not going to put one in there today I might put one when I'm actually sending the card and there we go and there is our card finished now um, it would probably be a good idea to go to my blog post and you can see some more photographs of this I'll put some more photos on um, I've got another one that I could put on my blog post as well oh here it is so this is one that I made yesterday and I've just done it all in white and I've done my happy birthday in white so it's just slightly different I haven't put as many fish on just to show you, you don't need so many and I've done I've used silver for this so I think I've used soft sea foam Bermuda Bay pool party and silver embossing powder silver sequin silver thread I haven't put anything inside because it's it's already whisper white and I'm going to show and if you go to my blog because I can't find the other card I, the first card I made was very over the top and I will put a picture on my blog post of that and show you um, that it doesn't always go right first time so it was just an idea in my head and the first one didn't work very well so I hope you really enjoyed this video I really like these cards I'm one of my favourite cards this year so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe bye